Welcome! The Evolution 360 degree camera has the versatility to be mounted in a number of different types of locations using different adapters and mounts. In this video, we will be demonstrating mounting the environmental housing in a vertical orientation. This enclosure is designed for both indoor and outdoor use and consists of the following parts. The camera module with short nose, the enclosure base, and the dome trim cover. In this video, we'll be setting up for an outdoor use. This enclosure is a fully sealed IP66 rated enclosure that is also vandal resistant. It is designed so that there are no openings for moisture to enter the inner enclosure. All mounting perforations are outside of the sealed area of the enclosure. The wire grommets on the back are sealed until perforated by the installer. The integrity of these seals is essential in order to keep moisture from entering the enclosure. The bubble is made of optical grade polycarbonate and has been tested to IK10 standards for mechanical impact. The back of the ceiling base has two wire grommets for cable entry, plus a gore vent to allow the enclosure to breathe. The gore vent allows the enclosure to vent without letting moisture in. This vent is relatively fragile, so caution should be taken to avoid damaging it. The two wire grommets are designed for a single wire each. The diameter of the wire should be between 3.5 and 5 millimeters. This range is intended to accommodate most ethernet and alarm signal cables used in the industry. To begin the process, puncture the diaphragm inside of the grommet by inserting a wire or sharp tool and gently pull the cable back to secure and seal. Do not put more than one wire through a cable entry grommet, as it will not seal properly and may invalidate the warranty. Wiring for the camera housing can also be routed through a conduit entry on the side. This conduit opening is 20 millimeters in diameter, so an adapter will be needed if using non-metric conduit. Now we're ready to install the enclosure base to the wall using the four holes located outside the trim ring seal joint. These holes are located on the two ears of the enclosure, are open to the back, and are not threaded. Remember, the mounting hardware for the surface material should support at least four times the weight of the camera and assembled enclosure. If the installation is subject to vandalism, additional considerations need to be made when selecting fixing hardware and mounting strategies. The enclosure is designed to cover a hole or box in the mounting surface through which the wires are pulled. This enclosure allows the wires to be routed around or over the camera module to the connection points. The alarm connection, if used, can be removed from the camera module to enable easier connection and service. To install this camera, attach and route the cables, then rotate the camera into the cleat in the base plate and fasten it in place with the captive thumb screw. Make sure to route the wires so that they do not cross over the lens area when the trim ring is attached. A BNC video connector with an analog video output is provided for camera testing using a spot monitor. If used, check the dip switch settings to set for either NTSC or PAL video output. Once testing is completed, the BNC test cable can be removed. Finally, fasten the dome trim ring assembly in place using the four captive security screws and the provided security driver bit. And that completes this installation. Thank you for watching.